Hey guys, Suli here. Today I'm going to do my review for episode 2 of the English dub for Dragon Ball Super. I know it's I'm a little late but I need to get it done and pretty much this time I'm going to be doing a little less... I, I normally have a script I do for my points and everything but this time I want to do a bit of a less scripted review and I'm just going to have some notes. So yeah, let me know what you think of this like new like style I'm doing which is less scripted. And just let me know what you think in the comments below. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's begin. Uh, so the episode starts by showing what happened in the last episode. Goku gave Chi Chi the 100 billion zenny and she lets him go to King Kai's place to train. So then Goku obviously appears at King Kai's using the instant transmission. And King Kai's driving in his car, talking with Gregory and Bubbles at this point. And thanks to Goku, he crashes his car, so he's really not happy at him. And... To King Kai's displeasure, he just kind of asks if he wants can train there, and he just kind of starts training to King Kai's displeasure, I guess. King Kai's really not happy about it, but he kind of has to put up with it because he can't really say no to Goku. Yeah, so later on, so next, um, yeah, it goes to Vegeta, who's with Bulma and Trunks, and they're actually going out on like a trip, like a family trip, and the reason Vegeta's going is because he in Z, which they have a quick flash. Uh, flashback to it Vegeta promised to take Trunks to the amusement park and so he's keeping his promise and going out with them but yeah um, they don't end up going to the amusement park they instead go shopping because Trunks wanted to do that instead so yeah and in this episode we can really tell that um Vegeta's really in just after Z kind of in his personality because he's really uptight and he doesn't really show his affection very much. To be fair, he he does care, but he just doesn't like to show it. But he's really kind of uptight and a bit <laughs> obnoxious in this ep in this episode, really. And Sabat's done a really good job at capturing that part of Vegeta. He still feels like Vegeta from Z. And as Super continues, he kind of transitions and becomes slightly... I wouldn't say... like He becomes a bit softer, in a sense. Like, he shows his, his that he cares a lot more. But in this episode, Sabat really captured the essence of Z Vegeta. So when the series continues, you'll notice, oh, yeah, he has changed quite a lot as the series progresses. And he'll be probably a bit less obnoxious. And although he's still, like, insecure about showing his gentle side, like, he will, you will see the difference. And I, he's doing a really good job on that. Yeah, it's just, I think Sabat was really great in this episode. So, yeah, once they go shopping... Uh, Vegeta, Bulma and Trunks go to a restaurant to get something to eat and this obviously cheers Vegeta up a bit because he loves food so he's enjoy they're all enjoying a nice meal and Bulma's really happy that Vegeta's just hanging out with him, her and Trunks and having a family day out which is really nice because it's a really nice moment because you can tell it means a lot to Bulma but yeah essentially they're having a nice time eating and they keep getting bigger and bigger dishes as Vegeta and Trunks are eating all and Bulma's enjoying it too and essentially they end up getting this huge octopus and they start eating it and they're really enjoying it until Vegeta takes a massive bite out of it and he gets sprayed with loads of ink <laughs> and that obviously pisses Vegeta off and he kind of loses his head a little bit and like I watched the um, Adult Swim version so he's just like he's he started getting really angry and calling the octopus a bastard and I found it really funny but yeah so that was good and then he kind of storms off because he's not very happy so they leave and then they end up going to this like I think they just kind of stumble into like this like dance performance outside and Vegeta, Trunks and Bulma, well Vegeta gets separated from Trunks and Bulma and pretty much he's trying to find them and the person performing on stage sees Vegeta's the only one in the crowd not smiling so he wants him to um, join in on the performance and Vegeta <laughs> doesn't want any of it he's trying to rationalize the day that he's been having and saying like he considering he's helped save the world from Majin Buu like he should be being treated really well essentially but he keeps getting nudged by the crowd and it keeps pissing him off so eventually he loses his head and just kind of flies off and that's enough Vegeta just has enough at that point and to be fair just after Z Vegeta you can kind of understand like he's done more than enough to be honest for how he is and yeah it's quite funny to be honest so then we move on to um Beerus and Whis and pretty much Whis is trying to get the special meat for Beerus from like a random planet we don't know the name of with these weird aliens and you see these little alien guys and they kill this big like dinosaur 
kind of looking creature. And uh, Whis has come for the meat to give to Beerus. He's pretty much going to steal the meat for Beerus because Beerus heard that the meat's really delicious. And Beerus wants the meat so he can have, taste it and try and remember about the vision of the Super Saiyan God he had because he can't remember exactly what it is. But essentially, um, Whis tries to be polite, but <laughs> then they don't give him the meat. And Beerus gets impatient and pretty much um, fights the, the main fighter of kind of like the alien clan. And Beerus defeats him easily. It's a really cool fight sequence. And it really shows how overpowered Beerus is. But yeah, he absolutely wrecks the alien. And Whis is going to get the meat for him. But Beerus kind of isn't interested anymore. And he's just like, I don't need the meat. I'm just going to blow the planet up. So <laughs> he blows the planet up. And yeah. I haven't seen this episode in a long time, but I really do like the animation they had for the planet explosion. It looked really nice. The, the animation in this episode, generally, is really good. I didn't really notice any errors at all, which is great. Uh, yeah. So, animation-wise, it was really good. Um, yeah, Jason Douglas, who plays Beerus, did a really good job in this episode. And Ian Sinclair, who plays Whis, also did great. They're so good at playing these characters. Like, I haven't heard a bad line, probably, from either of them yet. Like, they're just so good, really. I don't really have much to say, but the last few lines at the end of the episode from Beerus were foreshadowing. But, yeah, essentially, Beerus blows the planet up, and then it quickly cuts to Vegeta, who's training. He goes I, he goes into the... He's in the... Well, it switches to him in the gravity chamber. Sorry, I was stuttering a bit there. <laughs> but, yeah, I believe he was training under 250 times gravity, which is a lot. And he kind of struggles a bit, and he has this... And once he's done, he pretty much has a really epic classic Sabbath Vegeta speech and just a classic Vegeta speech about him wanting to be number one and and he's going to be the strongest being in the universe which is just awesome I just love Vegeta when he's like that and they even brought they brought up the point of um I believe they just did this in the Japanese episode as well Vegeta brings up the point of him admitting that he did say Goku was stronger than him but he's really fired up and he says he's gonna surpass Goku so I just that was a really awesome moment and really well acted by Saba as usual. I really enjoyed it and that got me pumped up to see more of the English dub and see more of Vegeta. So yeah, that's good. And the episode pretty much ends off with another shot of Beerus and Whis looking at the planet, planet the, looking at the planet explosion from when Beerus blew the planet up. And through the explosion, he remember actually remembers his vision. And remembers about the Super Saiyan God he dreamt about. And yeah, we've seen Battle of Gods, so we know where this is going. But yeah, the last couple of lines of this episode from um, Beerus is just... The foreshadowing, the acting is just so good. But yeah, that just about wraps up the episode. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like if you really enjoyed it. That would be great for me. I'd really appreciate it. And if you really liked the video... If you subscribe, that would be absolutely amazing. When I see what my subscribers go up, it really just does make my day. Um, and yeah, if you liked this less scripted review, I was a bit more natural in this one. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Do you like it or do you prefer the scripted video? Because that will mean that will let me know. Because if you do prefer the scripted ones, I'll keep doing scripted ones. I'll probably do a combination of both. If there isn't too much happening in the episode like in this one, I'll probably do a less scripted review. And if there's a lot going on, I'll probably just script it. But yeah, I got all the key points down. <laughs> but anyway, I won't blabber on much longer. I hope you enjoyed the video. And more importantly, I hope you guys had a great day. I'm Zuli, and I'll catch you hopefully next time. I'm out, guys.